Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. It is Friday, Friday the 20th of December, um, we have got a low loader on and we are fully loaded at the moment with what's called a full kit, so it's got a paver, a roller and a, a second, uh, sorry, a third item, which is normally either a street master or like a skid steer or maybe another roller, but I've got a skid steer on, which are really cool little things, if you've never seen one, I'll try and put an image up now, they're really, really cool. Um, you sat in it and you've got like a joystick on your left which like controls your left, right, forward, back and then another one on the right which controls the bucket and it's just really cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we just got into work, we need to do some daily checks um, and then we need to get a move on to Pewsley which is about 50 minutes away from where we are now. We need to be there for quarter past uh, seven uh, and we should be there for hopefully for, for about quarter to seven so we should be a bit, bit early. Hoping that I can get there, turn around and um, get the stuff off before the gang turn up so then I can clear off out of the way. That's the plan. But yeah, we need to do some daily checks. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is something different. Um, it's just the dash cam and me talking. <laughs> um, you can't see me because A, it's dark, and B, if I turn the light on, I can't see outside very well. And I need to see outside because this road is quite dodgy. See, A345 from uh, Marlborough to Pewsley. Um, and like just now, I had to go up a hill, but it was also slightly banking to the right as well, so it felt like I was gonna tip over, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just wanted to basically put the dash cam on and just record this little bit a sec. Because we're nearly there anyway. We're about four miles away. I just wanted to record this little bit. Because it looks like, according to the sat-nav, that uh, there could be some tight turns coming up. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely very interesting. The road itself isn't that wide either. I wouldn't want to meet another lorry like myself coming the other way with a load on that is like slightly overhanging on the sides, which is legal by the way. It's like an inch over either side. So you just you just feel that a little bit bigger than you actually are. So this, this corner is a bit tight. It's not too bad. Perfectly fine that one. Uh, but yeah, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think the roads are gonna be uh, quite as narrow as this up here, but uh, obviously they are. Got trees coming into the road, look like that. You've got to be careful because I got uh, machinery on, which is quite high. I got cars behind me trying to overtake me, but obviously they can't. Look, I'm literally in the middle of the road right now. I have to be to get around this bend. Something coming with bright lights now. It's just a normal car. I'm slowing down. 
I, but I am on his side of the road. My left wing mirror is like scraping the bushes, but I'm still on his side of the road. Right, this bus. Is this bus waiting? Looks like it. This bus knows how tight this road is, obviously. Du, 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 du. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is tight. We're in the bush. We're in the bush, but we're out. We're out of the bush. Okie dokie, we're just uh, about a mile away now. Looks like all the tight roads have now finished, so that's good. We just went through a little village, I think it was called Or. O-R-A-E or something like that, I can't remember. <laughs> but that was quite tight down there. Might be able to show you on the way back up. Uh, we've just got a couple more corners and navigate. Nag yeah, you know what I mean, navigate. <laughs> Go left around here. And then up the road, there is a roundabout. We should be turning right at the roundabout. Uh, which will then take us onto the road that we actually want to be on. And then I'm hoping when I get on that road, I can drive on up and then on the left, there's a T-junction that I can turn around at. You better slow down, mate. Jesus Christ. That van just come flying around that corner, not realising my trailer was on the side of the road. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, so hopefully there's a T-junction that I can turn around in, drive drive into the right, then T junctions on the left. Drive in left, reverse back out right, face the right way to get back out and hopefully unload quickly. Um, we are going to be there for about half past six. Well, it is half, it is half six right now. So um, I was told to get here by, for about seven, quarter past seven, but I like to have the machinery off by that time. So then uh, when the gang do turn up, it's ready for them, ready to go. I haven't been told whether I'm delivering to a construction site or what, so when I asked, he, uh, he said he didn't know, so I am, according to the map, uh, Old Hospital Road, which is where I'm dropping it off, is uh, just a small bit of road, so I'm, that's where I've been told to drop it off, that's where I'm dropping it off. <laughs> Pure and simple. It's a school here, so I definitely want to be out of here by 9 o'clock, I will be. I'll hopefully be out of here within an hour. The problem I've got at the moment is that I don't know what I'm doing after this. Um, I've texted him and he ain't answered. So I'll wait until I've got it all offloaded and I'll give him a call. Then I'll see what he says, well, I've got a car behind me. The other option was to go left at this roundabout and then reverse back in. But I think we're just driving. It's not good that that car is going down to where I want to go. There's a lot of cars down here as well on the right. I need to find a place to put it. I, well, I need a place big enough for me to get in and to drop my, my back end down and drop it. It's potentially here. Okay, this is where I was going to turn around. Looks like it's doable and I can just park up here as well. Beacons on. So I'm doing a manoeuvre. I reckon they're, they're going up there to uh, lay the tarmac, that's what I reckon. So I'll dump it. Sorry, not dump it, place it <laughs> right outside the gate. I keep saying dump it. I'm not dumping it, honestly. Got to turn the light off a sec so I can see a bit better. Oh. I ain't got enough room to straighten up. I'm going to have another go. This is, <laughs> it should be a really easy reverse when we need this. I'm a little bit annoyed that I've uh, cocked that one up. But I ain't got enough room on the left to straighten up quickly enough. Oh, 
There we go. And then we're just going to park up here on the left and, uh, and offload it. Should be okay like that. Right. Let's get this off. Let's uh, dump it by the gate. So I place it by the gate. <laughs> and uh, crack on. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right. The kit is now all off. Um, got it at half past six. It's now seven o'clock. So I got it all off in 30 minutes. And the really annoying thing now is I don't know what I'm doing. And I phoned the guy that we're doing the work for. He's not answering his phone. It really, really frustrates me because like I could be getting on. I could be getting to the next job. Do you know what I mean? I could, I could be staying here with the kit for all I know, which is fine. I don't mind. I'm feet up. <laughs> put the ramps back down. Uh, put a triangle out and you know sort of say to people do not park here because it looks like the car's parked behind me already but he's left quite a bit of space but then i could be going elsewhere and i want to get there you know seven to seven a.m i want to get there before the traffic i mean the traffic's going to build up in an hour i want to get through all the little tight little roads i've just been down before traffic builds up but no no answer so it's really frustrating <sighs> really bad planning oh Inefficient. I'm just saying now. So allowing a break. Uh, if I can get 15 in, great. If I can get half an hour in, great. If I can get 45 in, even better. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's really frustrating. I, I hate waiting around. I just want to get on with it and do the job. Never mind. <laughs> I'll give him another call in 15 minutes after my break, and if he still don't answer, then I'll just carry on saying on break. I'm right. Uh, feet up, I suppose, but I'd rather be getting on with things. I'll let you know the outcome shortly. <laughs> right. We've got a destination to go towards. I'm still not sure if I'm actually picking it up, but we're going towards. You will arrive at your destination at 8.17 a.m. Uh, yeah, I can see this road getting really busy later. Really, really busy. Come on then, off you go. Keeping my beacons on for now, just while I get out of here. All right, they can come off now. Right, yeah, so I've managed to finally get hold of uh, the bloke we're doing the work for, and he said, make your way towards Bezel Lee, which is on the April 20. Apparently a dumper and something else may need moving. Uh, but he's not sure whether they want it done or not, so. I'm heading back towards Swindon. <laughs> that's the, that's what we're doing at the moment. <laughs> heading back towards Swindon. Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. Um, after I dropped all that kit off, one of the boys in a van who works for the same company drove past. He never stopped, so uh, I'm assuming he saw the kit. So nothing was said. So as far as I'm concerned, where I put it was fine. But yeah, never mind. Uh, if I don't end up doing this job, I don't know what he has planned other than it might be it for the day. <laughs> a very short day. Anyway, I'm going to go. You can't see me, so uh, I will talk to you in a bit.
I'm, I'm in the wrong lane actually thinking about it. We um, we were told that I'd get a phone call in um, in 15 minutes. That was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I didn't expect to get a phone call. He said, "Make your way to Chiswellden." Well, mate, that's been and gone. Chiswellden has been and gone. <laughs> so um, what we're doing now is we're going to pull into Swindon truck stop because uh, he said that the place uh, where I've got to go to. Uh, Oh crap, what was it called? Bezel Lee, that's it. Bezel Lee on the A420, which is between Swindon and Oxford. Put that one again so you can see me. Between Swindon and Oxford. Um, so we're in Swindon right now. We just come off the A419. If we kept on the A419, we'd go straight to Cricklade. But uh, we're coming off the A419 to get onto the A420. But before we get on the A4120, uh, A420, we'd get into Swindon Truck Stop. And. Uh, try and get a break in there while we uh, find out what exactly we're doing because uh, yeah apparently what um, that thing he said I might have to pick up apparently it might not need to be picked up so I suspect it will be picked up I'd be very surprised if I don't have to pick it up but I'm just waiting for confirmation very early to not have any more work anyway well I mean I suppose it is uh, Friday last day last Friday before Christmas so Christmas is in what, four days time? Never mind. Right, we need to get into the right hand side lane. Thank you very much. Bam, 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 bam. I know uh, Trucker Jenko often stays at uh, Swindon Truck Stop. I say often, <laughs> not, not every day, but maybe once a month. Round we go. Yes, we've put 20s down there on the left. Um, and if we do have to go, then we'll just come out, turn around at the roundabout, come back down on ourselves. But for now, we are going to pop in here. I think it's a bit bumpy this road, isn't it? Yeah. From memory. <sighs> Swindon truck stop, sort out your bumps. <laughs> it's very bumpy. Of course, downside is, by the time we do get a move on, we are going to be in rush hour traffic, so it's going to be busy when uh, when we do leave. Never mind, there's some things there, look, in the road. I think that's a delivery spot, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to uh, Swindon Truck Stop. It's very quiet, isn't it? Very quiet. What's he doing? There's a lorry, it's not like parked in. Okay, he's reversing. We'll, uh, we'll park next to one of these. I have received word from uh, uh, Kev T that he, he stopped at, I think it was Clackett Lane Services last night, and uh, he said it was dead, 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 dead quiet. So I think, because it's Christmas, I think all the services are quiet now. I need to turn it off so I can see it on that mirror. Excellent. I don't want to go too far back. So I don't want to crunch the lights. So I've got quite a low low bar. I do. Anyway, let's put it on brake. Lights off. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pop into the truck stop and get a can of Coke or something. I feel, I feel like having a can of Coke. Right, let's do it in a bit. This is what I was saying about going too far back, look. I stopped right at the right time. Look at that, look. If I went back any further, I could damage those pipes or mounted the curb. <laughs> and potentially even damage the pole. But, uh, I'd say I stopped spot on. <laughs> oh, hey, you can kind of see me now. It's light out-ish. This is uh, traditional 
English winter weather. <laughs> just, actually, this is just summer weather as well. It's <laughs> rainy all the time. <laughs> anyway, we're on the move, as you can tell. We are we are heading towards getting the dumper. We've got to pick up a dumper, and I think he said something called a housing hopper, although I've got no idea what that is. So um, hopefully um, whoever's there can A, load it up, and when I take it, they can take it off, or B, they show me how to operate it, because I don't know how to operate it. But uh, yeah, pick that up, and apparently I'm just taking it around the corner. I asked where, whereabouts I'm taking it, for like a street address or a postcode or something, and uh, all I got was go left out of the farm, go left at the roundabout, which is actually this roundabout coming, it will be the right from this side. Take the first left, follow it down, run alongside the runway, then take a left, and then it's on your right. That's all I've been told. I've uh, screenshotted a, a potential compound, I've circled it, and uh, I've sent it to him saying, is this it? about 20 minutes ago and I've heard nothing <laughs> so yeah uh, hopefully it's the right compound or I'm going to be going in and they'll be like uh, excuse me what are you doing here right this roundabout is nasty because you've got cars coming down the inside but I need to go over a bit or is I going to mount the curb on the trailer lovely jubbly also the last time I come out of this compound that we're going in I won't be able to film inside, by the way, but when we come out, I'll be able to film. It took me ages to get out because the traffic coming from Oxford was just mental. And I was literally waiting a good five minutes just to get out. No one would let me out. Um, and eventually someone flushed me out, so that was a nice one. Anyway, um, beacons are on, on the trailer, not on the front. Just to let people know behind that I am slowing down because we need to cross this road. It might take a while to cross the road yet, uh, uh, uh. We're gonna run on these uh, these hatchings just to get off the main road. You are allowed to run on these uh, hatchings because it's not a solid white line, just so you know. And then we're turning right into this entrance here. Right, anyway, camera's coming off, and I'll see you when we're on our way out. Okay, we're on the farm. I'm just trying to find the uh, equipment. The farmer wasn't actually sure what I was taking. He's making some phone calls, but there's some stuff here that I suspect it could be any of this. So there's a dumper here, six ton dumper. And uh, some sort of machine there, could be that. I don't know. No idea, taking something. Right, the only reason I'm showing this is because, yeah, you kind of can't see where I am and not really showing anything. So, um, we arrived and uh, I met up the farmer and the farmer said he doesn't know what I'm doing here. So I tried to explain to him and uh, he said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him I'm doing the work for. I said, have you got his number? So give him a shout, just double check what he wants. Because now he ain't got his number. So I gave the farmer his number, the guy who actually owns the place. And um, he had a word with him and sorted things out. Anyway, it turns out I've been given incorrect information. I'm not to come here first, I'm delivering here from the other place. So I need to go to the other place first. But I've been waiting here for quite a while before I found that information out. So I'm on break. Uh, one more minute of break, I left. And then um, we'll head off, reset the driving time. We'll head off just around the corner. It's literally 10 miles away. Uh, sorry, four miles away, 10 minutes away. Uh, Got to get a... What was it he said? It wasn't a dumper. Oh, what was it? Can't remember what he said it is. Ah! It's gonna do my head in now. One of those big bulldozer. Big massive bulldozer, apparently. Apparently. Well, he never said big massive, he just said bulldozer. I'm assuming it's big and massive. <laughs> he goes, uh, do you know how to drive it? I said, no. <laughs> I said, I don't, mate. He goes, that's right, they'll load you there, and we'll load you here. So, like, alright, thank you. All I gotta do is just chain it up. Um Hopefully, anyway. Anyway, that's the break over. So, I'm just gonna uh, uh, go out now. I'll see you in a second when we're uh, like at the exit. Okay, right. So we're on the exit now. I'll uh, resume the dash cam. Um, yeah, so uh, we've got to head to the other place now and get uh, the bulldozer put on, then come back here, drop it off. I don't know what I'm doing after that. Uh, the guy we're doing the work for did ask, when can I work until? As in, what's the latest I can work? Because I've done 
I don't know if I've explained, but this week I have maxed out my hours pretty much every day in terms of minimum rest. Um, I may have only done like 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours, sometimes 13 hours shift and 14, 15. I've done loads of different hour shifts, but the point is every single rest period I've had has been a nine hour minimum rest, including yesterday, which was a nine hour minimum rest, even though it was my fourth nine hour rest. And the reason I got away with that is because I had a, I had a split rest. I had three hours during the day, uh, which means you can do an extra 15, do an extra nine off. So I've had four nine hour minimum rests this week. I've been home every day, but um, I'm literally home, shower, bed, wake up, go back to work. It's how it's been all week. So I'm A, I'm knackered, and B, um, I've got no minimum rests available, which means I can also only, only, only do a 13 hour shift. Those of you who are not in the trucking industry are like, what, that's a lot of shifts, that's a lot of hours. <laughs> no, that's just some basic normal, normal uh, hourly uh, job that is, 13 hours. So um, yeah, I can only do 13 hours today and I started at half past five, which means I can only work until half past six this evening. So after this, there may be nothing else, I don't know. Because I might not be done until midday. Yeah, maybe 11 o'clock. Now this is the road I said is a nightmare to get out of. There's just cars coming from the right. Actually, there's a sizable gap after this van. The second vehicle come in. One, two, and we can go. We do need to take up a little bit of the other side of the road. Actually, no we don't, we just use the middle lane. Look. We are out. So yeah, we'll be at our destination very soon. But again, I'm not gonna film going in or going out so much because I don't know who they are, I don't know what they got out inside. So I've, uh, I've been asked to remove videos in the past for filming uh, in farms, just sensitive information. So I, I don't want to upset anyone. I also, whilst on break, had a text from DVLA saying that uh, my car MOT is G. I mean, it's, it expires in two weeks, which is fine. I thought, okay, I'll phone the garage up two weeks' time. They'll have some space. Nope. <laughs> My local garage does not have any space. Um, it doesn't help that it's the Christmas period. So they're, they're off over Christmas um, for the week, pretty much. Uh, my car MT runs out on the 3rd of January, which is a Friday, I think. And the earliest they can get it in is uh, on the 6th of January, which is the Monday. So I'll, um, I'll have no car over a weekend and I'll, I'll drive it to the garage on the Monday because I think that's legal. Driving your car to an MOT place, I think that's legal. I'll have to double check with that. Um, but I, I've got another car I can use if need be. So uh, no big deal. Um, the only problem is getting to work on the Monday. If I have work that Monday. We will see. Anyway. Let's crack on, we're only three miles away. Uh, I'll probably see you next once we're loaded and we're on our way back. Okay, we're at the other place now. There's my truck. And this is what we're taking. We're taking a big old bulldozer. It looks uh, looks beefy, that does. It's gonna go on the back of the bed. Hopefully fit on the back bit, back bit without going on the neck. Go right up to the neck. Looks quite heavy as well. Right, we are loaded. We've got a quite a large bulldozer on. Um, it is a beacon's job because we're we are slightly too wide for the bed. So, um, yep, beacons are on to warn people because we've got a, we're only like doing four miles down the road, but it is country lanes. So, beacons are on front and back. Uh, at the time we get this off, it should be maybe half ten, quarter to eleven. And then I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if there is anything. I just got absolutely drenched. My, um, my high-vis coat is dirty. Like, it's got m dried mud on it. So every time it rains, it just I just get, like, dirty all of a sudden, like, really quickly. <coughs> I'm going through so many wet wipes. I've got no clean, dry gloves. They all seem to be dirty. Uh, so it's just really annoying. I can't wait to... Uh, finish today, go home and put everything in the wash, get it all nice and clean. Because that's the problem with this job, it's just a dirty job. Just going careful. Vehicles don't seem to want to slow down. <laughs> Never mind. Right. 
Yeah, yeah there's a runway over there. Look, I'm assuming that's a military of some sort. I don't actually know. Might be interesting getting into the farm later. Unfortunately, you won't see it because I don't want to film in the farm. But it's it's uh it's quite a tight left bend you've got to make and uh, trees all over. So I don't want to uh, damage anything. But I'm sure I won't. I'm sure we'll be okay. So yeah, let's get crack a lack in and uh, get this offloaded. Okay, okay, that bulldozer is now off and we are heading back to Swindon. Uh, I phoned the guy we're doing the work for uh, and I said, uh, yeah, that's done. He goes, what, two runs? I said, no, one run. He goes, ah, there's two. I said, no. I said, I've been told there's one run. <laughs> he goes, ah, there's definitely two. I said, okay. I said, I've just, I've just spoken to the guy and he said, it's definitely one. <laughs> I said, do you want to make a phone call? He goes, all right. And uh, yeah, he got back to me and he said, yeah, all right, I got nothing else. <laughs> so I was like, sweet. He said something about my boss potentially having something to go pick up a tractor. So I phoned my boss up and he asked me uh, how many driving hours I got left. So I told him, I said, uh, so I've, I've done three hours driving already. And by the time I get to the yard, I'll be on about four. Uh, he, and he said, no, all right, back to the yard then. So I'm assuming wherever he was going to send me was a good three hours away. Uh, that's my... That's why I suspect, because uh, I wouldn't be able to done it, do it. If I, if it was like three hours away, it's three hours there, three hours back, it's six hours, and I've got nine to play with, so I would have needed to have done less than three to have been able to do that. So it might have even been further away than three hours, for all I know, I don't know. Either way, I'm heading back to the yard uh, at the moment. So subject to change, always is. So uh, I'm gonna be in the yard in about half an hour. I've been driving for half an hour already since I left and uh, yeah we're um, gonna go wash the truck wash the trailer get lo there's loads of mud on the trailer so I need to give that a quick spray get it off washed in the rain and then to be quite honest with you I just want to go home and enjoy the weekend I've been I've basically been away all week I mean I know I keep going on about it I've been home every day and every night but uh, like <laughs> I'm home I'm showered I'm in bed I wake up I go to back to work. <laughs> That's literally it. I haven't seen my kids. My eldest daughter yesterday, because um, yesterday was the first time I saw her since Monday, even though I've been home. And she goes, Daddy, I miss you. I haven't seen you in ages. Do you know what I mean? It's stuff like that. Makes me think, am I being a good dad by being away and not seeing them, even though I'm going home? It's just the, it's just the shifts I'm working. I started off Monday working nights. I've, I'm ending Friday during the daytime. I'm literally working different hours all throughout the day. It's, just, it's not for me. I want to be home more. Um, I love my kids and I want to see them more often. So hopefully I can get home, uh, get showered and go pick them up from school. That'd be quite nice for them. But uh, yeah, at the moment I'm done for the day. So I want to thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, it means an awful lot. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Oh. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. If you want to help me and support my channel, down below there is a, actually is it down below? No, if you if you click my Lucian HDV logo, it takes you to my homepage, and on my homepage where it says subscribe, next to that, there's a, uh, a join button. And if you press that, you can, cr uh, you can become a, um, a channel supporter of mine and uh, basically support the channel, really. You get added benefits, um, you get 20% of all items in my store. You get early access to the video. So this very video you're watching right now, people have already seen because they are a channel supporter, so they get early access. Uh, not only that, but you get uh, special shout outs and mentions as well. At the end of each video, uh, I will put a list of my current channel supporters. So um, if, you, uh, if you do become a channel supporter, your name will be shown. And I, and I honestly, I thank every single one of you. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. As of right now, when I last checked, I've got 10 channel supporters. Uh, so thank you to each and every single one of you. Uh, your names will be listed right after this video. And um, I would read them out, but I'm driving, so I can't. <laughs> but I'm still going to um, mention you after this video. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I honestly, I, I love it. I love you. Thank you. You mean everything to me. And thank you for supporting the channel. And if you haven't supported the channel yet, then you can by uh, clicking the join button or clicking the link down below where I say become a channel supporter. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, 
Thank you for watching. And until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Snow is falling. Snow is falling. All around us. All around us. Drivers working. Having fun. Having fun. It's the season. To sign up to a veil. Merry Christmas, everyone. Looking for a new job over Christmas? Or just want to earn some extra cash? Avail has loads of work this Christmas. Download the Avail app or visit the Avail website and sign up for free. Avail are an open platform for drivers to find work and for logistics managers to find drivers. The minimum hourly wage is £12, 4 pence per hour. The actual hourly rate is clearly shown on each listing. You pick the jobs you want to apply for. Get notified on your phone instantly when you've been accepted for the job. You can plan for weeks in advance. Download the Avail app or visit the Avail website today. Merry Christmas, everyone.